It's a bit cold in my room right now, so I'm wearing this. Anyway, um, hi, how are you? My name's Makasi, and today I want to talk to you about a cardigan that I have that is really nice. It's a really nice cardigan. So just a quick history about bare knuckles. So it started by Cole and Jacob, you know, Cole's really cool. You should follow him on Instagram, Jacob, you know, I think we all know who Jacob is, Jacob Keller, you know pretty much the man that first started on YouTube for menswear fashion. So, you know, support their brand, they make good shit. All right, so the full name of this, the full name of the article, article of clothing that we're gonna be talking about today is called the Golden Yellow Italian Alpaca War Distress Cardigan. Let's talk about the details real quick. So it's, um, let's start with material. So it is 68% alpaca, 10% wool, and 22% polyester. The alpaca is super soft. The the yellow and gold color, the yellow slash gold color is amazing. It's very unique. And the shape is also, it's very drapey. And then the buttons are very high quality. They are, they are um, mother of pearls. And it is made in Los Angeles. And um, the retail on these were, I believe, 350, which is a bit high, but I'll get into that later. Anyway, um, the fit. So let's talk about the fit real quick. So, it's a bit weird because this is just a personal preference, but I don't like the drop shoulders. I like my clothing to be very structured. So then like it accentuates your body more rather than like flop onto you, which is what this piece is. You know, drop shoulders and then like it looks very drapey and relaxed on the body, which some people may like, but for me personally, I just like structure like this, this right here. Like if I put this up like this, it's gonna stay like that. But with the bare knuckle, if you put it up like this, it's gonna go down, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so um, just for references, I am 170 pounds, I am five foot 10. This is a size large. I think it fits rather true to size because it's very boxy, not very boxy, it's boxy, but um, it's also a bit uh, cropped and the sleeves like a bit elongated. And what drew me to this piece? So first, it's obviously the, excuse me, um, the distressing, the distressing, it's very cool. It's um, throughout from the, I don't even know how to say it. Just look at the video. It's distressed throughout and um, the material. So um, I enjoy any piece that isn't cotton. Like I want to experience a different material and learn about it and know what it feels like to wear a certain fabric, a certain type of fabric, you know? So, and alpaca is like something new to me. So I was like, mm, that, that really, that was the that was the thing that pushed me to buy this piece. Like when I saw that was alpaca, it's not just wool. Cause like, I know what a wool cardigan feels like. I, ha I have a bunch, man, but I never, I don't own any alpaca. I do want to say something about this cardigan. And um, the cardigan has like this smell to it. Like it's not bad, it's not good either. I think it just, it's the smell of the alpaca or the smell of the fabric that was just laying around in the manufacturer and the factory. If you own this piece, you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's a smell to it, you know what I mean? Like if you don't spray your cologne on it and you just wear it out like that, like there's a certain smell within it. Just, I don't know how to explain it. Just, I feel like it's just the material or it was how the material was stored before, you know assembling into this cardigan, this beautiful cardigan. Um, so how I would style it. So um, I'm pretty simple, you know, I, I enjoy wearing my black. Well, let, let's talk about from the bottoms out. So for, for footwear, I generally wear this like very norm core and like, yeah, norm core. And um, I'm either wearing it with my cowboy boots or I'm wearing it with my Stan Smith or Adidas because, you know, it just, it's a relaxing cardigan. You, sh you shouldn't try to class it up, you know, it's casual. And um, I'm always wearing it with um, either straight-legged trousers, wide-legged trouser, or super, super wide and super high-waisted trouser. These trousers are from Brick. And um, you know, I always wear it. I never wear this with skinny silhouettes. It just, just a personal preference. Obviously, you do what you want. Yeah. And so the yellow is very strong. So you know, don't add too much colors to your outfit. Just tone everything down. Let the cardigan speak for you. Like. I'm also not a fan of like matching your top to your sneaker. I think that's very elementary and just, but you know, it's to each, to each your own. Like if you enjoy doing that, continue to do so. Just my personal preference, I think it's very elementary. Just wearing a red sweater with red shoes, like, you know, it just, I don't know. How I see this cardigan style by most bare knuckle fans. So bare knuckle fans are very, um, very, what, what's the right word? Like they were, they were, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Like the tote bag, the vintage Levi, the, um, 
vintage band tees. Like that's that's the crowd that bare knuckles attracts. But for me, like I style it very casual, so I feel like they probably hate how I do it. But you know, that just that's how I would do it. So you know, we all have different tastes, and that's the beauty. Like you know, wear it how you want to wear it. Don't wear it just because the masses wear it like that. Like be yourself. And if being yourself means dressing according to the masses, all props to you. But if you're going against the grain and you feel like you're sticking out, who cares? Just wear it how you like it. I think as long as you're not overstimulating everyone with the colors or like oversaturating your outfit with too many colors, I think you're good. Like I'm very a minimalist. Like as you can see by my room, by most of my outfits, like I start off with black and white or maybe a bit of beige or gray, but rarely beige or gray, but just mainly black and white. So, and then I throw in like one pop color, in this case, the yellow cardigan. Like that's just how I do it. But if you're a maximalist, like if you're a fan of colors, like, you know, go all out, wear the yellow with whatever other color goes with yellow or whatever you think looks good with yellow. Like. Red shoes, green pants, yellow sh yellow cardigan, um, tie-dye shirt, whatever it is that you want to do. But, you know, like for me, like I, I just I just put a simple black or white tee underneath. Okay, so so how I wear these, like the only thing that are different in each of the outfit that I would wear this with, with this cardigan is that the pants, like I would change the silhouette of the pants, like I'll go from straight to super wide or for the footwear and the t-shirt, like it's always gonna be black or white and then yeah, just the silhouette of my pants, that's the only thing gonna be different whenever I style this cardigan. And um, I, I would show you, I would show you what, how I would wear this with my Stan Smith and New Balance, but those two are at work. Like the super comfortable shoes, so I wear them at work and I don't have them at home with me, I'm sorry. Just, you know, imagine or, you know, go, go to my Instagram. I'll, Put it right here or something i i'm pretty sure i have a fit pick in it so um let's talk about the pros and the cons so let's go with pro first so the distressing it's very unique it makes the knitwear one of a kind and then the the shape of the shape of the the shape of the cardigan itself is very unique so the drapey shoulder and um the distressing the um, crop a bit of cropness and the elongated sleeve and then on the sleeve like you can put your finger through the distressing also i think that's a nice detail the buttons are very high quality, but um, I broke it while I filmed this video. And um, so I was like stretching and then it hit the wall. And I mean, you're probably looking at this video right now. So yeah, so like I, I broke it. But again, you know, it's just, it's high quality buttons, but a bit fragile. So please be careful. Don't be, don't be me. Don't just like, you know, hit it. Yeah, it breaks easily so you know it's pearls so um the material is very nice alpaca with the wool and poly like it's super soft and um besides the smell i think this material is softer than my raft simon the 100 percent wool uh, i heart rs sweater the color like it's gold slash yellow it's very unique i you generally don't see that color it's also like they're they're a small brand so you know you're supporting small business and um so the con so it's mostly like preferences like it's not cons it's for the cardigan itself so um the drop shoulder i'm not a fan of that i like structure as i mentioned and when you button so the distressing is all throughout this area so like i often messed up which hole is the distressing which hole is for the button it's a bit pricey but it is from a small company so you kind of like you see why it's pricey you know the manufacturers are not giving cole and jacob the best of price because like you know they're they're manufacturing on a smaller scale and you know they're also producing it in los angeles so you know western standard wages i feel like this is a piece that you can pass on like to the next generation or to your cousins your nephews your niece whoever they are like it's a nice piece to have but yeah um thank you thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next video bye bye